EE News is reporting from the Embedded World 2019 and we're here at the Unlock stand and we are going to talk with Visa Klum. Visa, we know what Embedded Electronics is, we know what Artificial Intelligence is, but you can bring it all together. What exactly is Embedded Artificial Intelligence? Actually, we are running here machine learning algorithms on a microcontroller and are also able to learn models, to generate models online on this device here. Okay. How, how, how clever is this artificial intelligence? I, I can imagine you will have sensors, you have you know, all sorts of um, signals coming in. How is this artificial intelligence embedded in this piece of electronics? So we've got here acceleration sensors and the microphone and the sensors from, or the data from these sensors is analyzed and learned. So the system learns a model of the behavior of the system and is able to classify faults or defects or okay. anything. Let me just show you here, if I switch on the motor. You have an example here, yeah? Exactly. I've got, we've got an example here that takes acceleration data and microphone data and now classifies here four different states. And we just need to wait a second until it... Um, okay, now we've seen yeah. Here, two probabilities, 122 and 77 percent. So the probability that we are in this state is rather high. With this switch here, we can introduce a fault. We can disable a capacitor inside here. And if we do this, the behavior of the system slightly changes. And now we see we've got a high probability at the first state. Uh, which has been trained without these, uh, without the capacitor. We are also able to update the model here just by adding new data to this model and relearning it. How 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 quick how quick is this learning process? You know, it if takes, you have an engine running, it takes about one minute. One to, minute to learn. Yes, it will learn. So in this one minute, it makes a sort of characteristic of. The, the motor exactly and then use this profile for further learning exactly so in this system or in this example everything is more or less steady it does not change but okay if you monitor a real system you have different loads different uh, turning rates and everything changes then you need to learn for a longer time but in general uh, the system is able to learn and update its model and uh, then you can yeah, map all your behavior into different states and error categories. Yeah. Now this is artificial intelligence on the edge, you know, it's not exactly. going into a cloud. No, not at all. No, so this all the decision making basically is in this piece of electronics. Exactly. So this tablet here is just for visualization and providing power. So we could also close the application and run just here on the device with these buttons. Uh, um, let, let me introduce uh, iComax, our intelligent condition monitoring box uh, made by a partner of analog devices, Shiratech. And uh, in this box, uh, we use a multi-sensor approach. We use four different kind of sensor uh, for condition-based monitoring. Okay. We have uh, embedded uh, artificial intelligence running in the box and the box can be used immediately as condition-based monitoring fault indicator. So the box can be screwed to a motor in the case of fault uh, all the sensor will be transferred in the cloud where we run advanced uh, analytics to find out yeah. what the, the failure is. Okay, and so this, this product that will become available, it is now a motor application, but there will be, of course, different applications as well for this. Right, so the pro product is uh, optimized for induction motors, uh, but can be used for any asset health monitoring, it can be used for any machine health monitoring, it can be used for structural health monitoring, you can screw it to buildings, to towers, 
to uh, medical machines, uh, learn the box to the state of the machine, and it will start yeah. immediately monitoring the status of the machine. For the whole learning, does it need to go back to, into the cloud, or can it have an independent learning curve? Right, so for the fault indication, it doesn't need cloud, because it's, it's learned on the fly in the microcontroller, on embedded analytics are running in the microcontroller as well. Uh, but again, it's, 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 it's more about fault indication. The box is available to detect a fault or anomaly. But what kind of anomaly uh, should be done or we, 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 we do in the cloud? Uh, or we can program the box to uh, detect some known anomalies as okay. well. The plan is to make uh, the box available to the broad market, to the Hannover Messe. Uh, it's uh, at the beginning of April where we plan to introduce a CBM evaluation kit and make uh, uh, those boxes uh, available for our customers to run some evaluation or pilot projects. Okay, thank you very much for the information. You're welcome. Thank you. Cheers.